In other news tonight, former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick arrived in federal court today for the fourth day of jury selection in his corruption trial. And the seven action news investigators were right there uncovering exclusive information in this case. Several of Kilpatrick's friends and ex employees expected to be called as witnesses in the case. Seven action news investigator Heather Cotolo joins us now live from downtown Detroit. And Heather, what have we found out and who is going to testify? Well, Stephen, we know that several people that the mayor was once very close with have taken plea deals with the government in exchange for their testimony in this case. Well, now the Seven Action News investigators have learned who else could be taking the stand. The former mayor, who was once doing deals with wealthy business leaders, now has to worry about what some of those power brokers may say on the witness stand. And that's not all. Some of the more than 150 expected witnesses are some of Kwame Kilpatrick's own flesh and blood. Kilpatrick, his father Bernard Kilpatrick, longtime friend Bobby Ferguson, and former Water Department Director Victor Mercado are all charged with racketeering, accused of running a criminal enterprise. Millionaire Tony Suave is expected to testify, likely about all those private plane flights he gave Kilpatrick that the Seven Action News investigators first exposed back in 2008. According to court records, the owner of Suave Enterprises also gave $125,000 to the Kilpatrick Civic Fund. Suave's lawyer says his clients and others were extorted. Sources tell us Walbridge CEO John Ricolta is expected to testify. Walbridge is Company W in the indictment, which details alleged extortion attempts from Kilpatrick, Ferguson, and Mercado when Walbridge tried to get water department contracts. Kilpatrick's cousin, Nika Cheeks, could also take the stand. She once worked in the mayor's office and later pleaded guilty to stealing nearly $20,000 from the Manoogian Mansion Restoration Society Fund. Another Kilpatrick cousin and former mayoral staffer Anjane Evans could testify. Sources tell 7 Action News that former Kilpatrick Chief of Staff Christine Beatty will not play a role in the trial, but her half-sister, April Edgar, may be called as a witness. Edgar also used to work in City Hall and was a treasurer for the Civic Fund. Well, you never know when you're talking about a witness who's a relative or a close friend. Uh, it puts them in a very uncomfortable position, no matter who calls them, uh, because they're going to be subject to cross-examination by the other side. Mr. Kilpatrick, how do you feel knowing some of your friends are going to be testifying against you? Can you talk to us about that at all? Former Kilpatrick press and media experts Matt Allen, Bob Berg, and Judy Smith may all be put on the stand. Other names of interest who may be called? Detroit Economic Growth Corporation CEO George Jackson, former City of Detroit CFO Sean Wordlow, and ex-Detroit Chief Administrative Officer Lucius Vassar. 7 Action News has learned Bernard Parker III, son of Wayne County Commissioner Bernard Parker, could be called because he used to work for Ferguson. And sources say Second Ebenezer Church's Bishop Edgar Van is expected to testify about a nonprofit that, according to the indictment, Kilpatrick helped obtain state grant money for and then asked the nonprofit to hire his wife. Bishop Van previously testified in front of the grand jury that later indicted the former mayor and his co defendants. So far, 31 potential jurors have been qualified to hear this case. Jury selection continues tomorrow, and of course, we'll be here to bring you all of the latest developments. Reporting live at the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Thank you, Heather.